Hi friends, today we are going to discuss some of the important MCQs on an introduction by Kamala Das. We have already uploaded a class on the poem. If you haven't watched it, please do watch it. Our first question is An introduction by Kamala Das is a stringent criticism of the dash. Answer Patriarchal Society. Second question, the poem and introduction first appeared in the collection. Answer, Summer in Calcutta, 1965. Third question, in the poem and introduction, Kamala Das expresses her resentment in being confined to. Answer, Gender Roles. Fourth question, an introduction is a dash poem, confessional and autobiographical. Fifth one, what are the main themes of the poem, an introduction by Kamala Das? Answer, feminism or equal rights, free choice for all women and marriage. Next question, sixth one, significance of the title of the poem and introduction. Answer, introduction is a formal presentation of oneself. Here, the poet gives a detailed account of her life and conflicts starting from her childhood. Seventh one, how does Kamala Das start her poem? Answer, with a reference to Indian politics. Next one, eighth question, what did she say about politics? Answer, she knows nothing about politics, but knows every politician who were in power. Next question, Ninth one, the name of the politician mentioned in the poem. Answer, Jawaharlal Nehru. Tenth one, can repeat them like days of week or names of months, which means, Answer, Kamalada says that she can say the names of all politicians very easily. She points out that only a few male members were in power, even though it named democracy. There is a sarcasm in her lines. Eleventh one, I am Indian, who refers herself as an Indian. Answer, Kamala Das, the poetess. Next question, twelfth one, where was the speaker born? as mentioned in the poem in Malabar. Thirteenth one, don't write in English. Who says this to the poet? Answer, critics, friends and visiting cousins. Next question, fourteenth one, why did the people tell her not to speak in English? Answer, because it is not her mother tongue. Fifteenth one, an introduction is written in answer free words. Sixteenth one, the poetess explains her Indianness through the lines. Answer, which lines? I am Indian, very brown, born in Malabar. Seventeenth one, the language I speak becomes mine, its dash. It's dash, all mine, mine alone. Answer, distortions and queernesses. Eighteenth one, it is as human as I am human, which means, Answer, it is natural that humans may make mistakes. The same way, the language, the English, which she speaks, also may have some mistakes. Nineteenth one, English is as natural to her as answer 
cawing to the crows and roaring to the lions. Twentieth one, Kamala Das asserts her identity in answer the male dominated society. Next question. In 2009, Dash called Kamala Das the mother of modern English Indian poetry. Answer the Times. 22. How does Kamala Das describe her language, that is, English? Answer It may be distorted and cured, but human. It is natural. 23. How does the poetess compare her English writings to the trees and clouds? What is the comparison? Answer. Her English writings are not deaf and blind like the sound of trees and clouds. 24. The sound of blazing funeral pyre is termed as Answer. Incoherent mutterings. 25. She ignored her womanliness. How? She cut her hair short, began to wear her brother's trousers. 26. Why did she ignore her womanliness? She could not bear the pain of living in a male-dominated society as a female. 27. Dress in saris, be a girl, be wife, they said. Who said to whom? Answer. The people of the society to Kamala Das. 28. What did the categorizers want the poetess to do? Answer. To fit into gender roles ascribed to women. 29. Why did Kamala Das say, I didn't know I had grown? Answer. She was still a child at heart. Thirtieth one. Which is the remarkable quality of Kamala Das? Answer. Honest and fearless exploration of the female psyche and sexuality. 31. An autobiography epitomized in a few words. Who said this about the poem and introduction? Answer. O. N. V. Kurup, famous Malayalam poet. 32. Dash is the masterpiece of the feminist Kamala Das. Answer. An introduction. 33. The reputation of I in the poem shows... Answer. It shows her existence and throws insight into the patriarchal society. 34. Kamaladas's poems are dash in theme and tone. Feminine. 35. Dash is the pioneer of feminism sensibility in Indian English poetry. Answer. Kamaladas. 36. Das's poetry produces one of a bold, ruthless honesty, tearing passionately at conventional attitudes to reveal the quintessential woman within. Who said? Answer M. K. Naik. 37. Which are the traditional women roles mentioned in the poem? Answer. Girl, housewife, cook, embroiderer, and quarreler with servants. These are the roles. 38. Don't play at pretending games. Don't play at dash. Answer. Schizophrenia or be a nympho. Next question. Schizophrenia is a dash. Answer. A disorder that affects a person's ability to think, feel and behave clearly. Next question, 40th one. A woman with 
very strong sexual desires answer a nympho 41 the weight of my breast and womb crushed me this line throws light upon answer miserable condition of an average indian woman who gets married early 42 normally in a patriarchal society instead of love a woman receives answer sexual exploitation and humiliation 43 the lover is dash in the poem answer anonymous 44 john cry dash when jilted in love answer embarrassingly loud 45 the themes of dash dominates kamala das poetry love 46 who asked the poetess to fit in answer categorizers 47 in the world he or the male is tightly packed like dash answer a sword in its sheath 48 the style of bold and frank expressions in her works led to comparisons with sylvia plath and margaret duras especially her confessional way of writing compared with sylvia plath 49 kamala das is a fiercely feminine sensibility that dares without inhibitions to articulate the hurts it has received in an insensitive largely man made world who said answer k r s i n g a r 50th question kamala das was greatly influenced by the dramatic quality of answer robert browning 51 kamala das persona is non infomaniac she is simply every woman who seeks love and she is the beloved and betrayed expressing her female hunger whose words answer m k nike 52 according to kamala das a woman seeks love from man but a man answer wants or desires a woman to quench his lust 53 kamala das says in him the hungry haste of rivers in me oceans tireless waiting 54 the hungry haste of rivers and the oceans tireless waiting how does kamala das connect this to males and females answer the first one shows lovers strong sexual passion as river rushes to the ocean for union lover moves towards the beloved for sexual desires beloved patiently waits 55 it is i who lie dying with a rattle in my throat the word rattle means answer a rapid succession of sharp clattering sounds 56 it is i who drinks lonely drinks at 12 who is this i answer here the critics have given two interpretations first one is the male who have complete freedom and the second one is a female who enjoys freedom 57 first line of the poem answer i don't know politics but i know the names of those in power and can repeat them like days of week or names of months beginning with nehru 58 last line of the poem i am sinner i am saint i am the beloved and the betrayed i have no joys that are not yours no aches which are not yours i too call myself i awards and other achievements in the life of kamala das first one nominated and shortlisted for nobel prize for literature in 1984 
അവാർഡ് ഓഫ് ഏഷ്യൻ പെൻ ആൻതോളജി നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫോർ കേരള സാഹിത്യ അക്കാദമി അവാർഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി നയൻ കേന്ദ്ര സാഹിത്യ അക്കാദമി അവാർഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഏഷ്യൻ പോയിട്രി പ്രൈസ് നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് കെൻറ്റ് അവാർഡ് ഫോർ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് റൈറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രം ഏഷ്യൻ കൺട്രീസ് നയൻറ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി നയൻ വയലാർ അവാർഡ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് വൺ ഓണററി ഡി ലിറ്റ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ് മുട്ടത്തുവർക്കി അവാർഡ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ് ആൻഡ് എഴുത്തച്ഛൻ പുരസ്കാരം ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻ ഹിയർ ഐ ഹാവ് ഗിവൻ സം ഓഫ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് വർക്ക്സ് ഓഫ് കമലാദാസ് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ മലയാളം യു ജസ്റ്റ് പോസ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് റീഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് മേ ഹെൽപ്പ് യു ഐ എം നോട്ട് റീഡിംഗ് ദി ആൻസേഴ്സ് ആസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ലെങ്ത് ദ വീഡിയോ സോ ഇൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് വി വിൽ അഗെയിൻ മീറ്റ് വിത്ത് അനദർ ടോപ്പിക് ടിൽ ദെൻ ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഗുഡ് ബൈ താങ്ക്